Hey, my name's Ollie, and you and me are here because MSI Project Zero and ASUS BTF are changing the game on motherboard design. Specifically, both initiatives move the connectors to the back of the motherboard for a cleaner look. That's obviously phenomenal and I am very excited, but a paradigm shift like that isn't without its challenges. Case compatibility being first and foremost, but that's where we come in. Traditionally, the ports on a motherboard have all faced forwards away from the motherboard tray. Now that ensures compatibility as all these cables can enter the free space inside the case and are then routed back around to your ion power supply. Functionally, that's fine, but making these cables look nice is a real challenge. You might go for premium cable kits with cable combs and some go as far as fully custom length kits just to keep things tidy. But now the cable management revolution is here and all the cables that were going back there anyway come straight out of the back of the motherboard. Now, we said that case compatibility is always one of the biggest hurdles, but to be a bit more specific, it's the motherboard tray that can get in the way. And re-engineering such a crucial part of case design for entirely new standards without compromising something else obviously isn't easy, but at the same time, we are Corsair, so it was absolutely fine. <laughs> So starting with our 2500 and 6500 series dual chamber cases, we've redesigned the motherboard tray, creating cutouts that align with the positioning of the reverse connectors. These cases are compatible with MSI Project Zero and ASUS BTF port layout, while still supporting traditional motherboards. Now it's worth noting that it's not just the CPU 8-pin and ATX 24-pin cables that are the focus of these changes, it's everything. Fan headers, front I.O. and SATA ports all hide around the back now. Of course, punching out holes in the motherboard tray would inevitably make it less rigid, but we've managed to retain the strength of this section through some very clever design and engineering on these 2500 and 6500 series cases. Now, as well as re-engineering the motherboard tray, we had to address another issue. As the ports poke straight out of the back of the motherboard, the cables would in a more traditional case be stopped by the side panel and need to make a drastic 90 degree bend. Not only can that put a lot of strain on the cables, but it can also damage the ports on your motherboard itself. With a dual chamber design in the 2500 and 6500 series cases, the rear chamber is sized to fit an ATX PSU, which creates enough room for the cables coming from BTF and Project Zero motherboards. This allows the new reverse motherboard concept to work without issue, and now all your ports and cables are neatly removed from view. So yes, our upcoming 2500 and 6500 series cases support MSI Project Zero and ASUS BTF reverse motherboard designs, but it should be noted that other brands are working on similar concepts. Gigabyte, for example, are working on their project Stealth. However, at this time, only MSI and ASUS's designs will be compatible. The PC space is moving fast. With innovations like Project Zero, BTF, and heaps more around the corner, this year is shaping up to be a great year to build. And Corsair has everything you need, as always, from cases and memory to cooling and power supplies to resources like Corsair Explorer and our PC Builder to help you research and plan it all out. Happy building.